Hello YouTube, this is Umills03, and this is the iPhone 3GS. Uh, this is uh, this is going to be a review of the iPhone 3GS, which came out last year, so June 2009. I currently have the iPhone OS 4 update on it, which came out yesterday, and that's why I have the that's why you can see the home screen wallpaper right here. Um, but yeah, this is a review of the iPhone 3GS. This is a 16 gigabyte model, um, and it came out a year ago. It was $199. It has a three megapixel camera, uh, which is also a video camera. Um, it has uh, speaker, um, earphone jack is at the top. It fits many different types of, you know, types and pairs of earphones. There's, uh, a lot of aluminum and things like that. So it's actually very durable. It's actually a lot more durable than the original iPhone. So let's get started with the review. This is my home screen wallpaper. And here are all my apps. I have, uh, text messages. Um, I have contacts, which is a, uh, contact address book. I have Google Maps, which, you know, has GPS and directions and compass and things like that. It's actually very useful because all the time it's accurate. It can run on Wi-Fi or 3G network. So that is pretty cool. Um, so that's, that is uh, Maps. Uh, there's camera. The iPhone 3GS has a 3 megapixel camera, meaning that it can take pretty pretty decent pictures and there's uh, tap to focus video and tap to focus camera uh, both on the iPhone OS 4 so the the actual the picture turnout is actually not very bad um, so that's cool um, there's you know there's a video camera and then there's HD recording come out coming out for the iPhone 4 but that's not on the 3GS but the camera on the 3GS is still pretty good um, let's see there's Excuse me, there's uh, stocks, so I can take a look at some of the stocks, Apple, Google, Yahoo, and then I can just customize my own ones and add and delete ones and just take a look at that whenever I'd like to. Usually updates pretty pretty frequently. I have weather, so I can add in, um, I can add in cities to check the weathers of and, uh, you know, kind of temperatures at any given second um, as long as I have an internet connection, which is up here. Currently, I'm running on at and I have three bars and a full Wi-Fi signal. Uh, so that kind of tells me how much I can get on the Internet. Um, there is notes. Uh, I can just write notes to myself. I can email them off. I can throw them away. Um, you know, I can use landscape if I want to type notes like that. It's actually not... It's actually comes to be a pretty useful feature if you just, uh, you know, you use it for a lot of different pur purposes, so that's good. Photos, you just get to take a look at all the photos you have, all the photos and videos. Places came in the OS 4 update, and that lets you, uh, it sets down pinpoints uh, for all of the different places that you've taken photos and videos off of this device. So that's actually very cool. Um, there's clocks. Clocks includes a world clock. Um, right now, Cupertino, 1237 in the morning. I can add more clocks for different parts of the world. Um, I have an alarm, or I, there are like alarms that you can set here and you can do some pretty cool stuff with. Um, there's a stopwatch and a timer. So that's that. I can set a noise too. So that is pretty cool. All the, Most of these features have come on the iPhone original and the 3G, but the 3GS adds along a couple extra features that I'll get to a little later in the video. Um, the calculator icon, this, the calculator icon only looks like this in the OS 4 update, but it's basically just a calculator. If I turn it sideways, it turns into this pretty cool keyboard. So, uh, that can help you, you know, whatever have you, whether it's math class or whatever it is. Um, iTunes, I need an internet to use it, but I, it looks like I do have internet right now. So this is iTunes. I have music, uh, featured videos, uh, ringtones. I can search anything I want, and then there's more. So downloads, podcasts, audiobooks, everything that you could want is all uh, from iTunes is all on the phone. So you really never have to access your computer to do that. App Store. Uh, I'm sure most of you guys are familiar, or at least s slightly familiar, with the App Store. Um, just you know, you have your featured apps that they put on for every day. They put the categories, games, internet, utilities, social networking, music, productivity, 
uh, top 25. There's top 25 free, top 25 paid. It's actually a very organized, very good way of uh, finding out what apps are and just which ones to get. Uh, there's a search option, so you can search for your apps. And then, of course, there are updates. And 99.999% of updates are free. So you can take a look at the description and download it at your pleasure. Um, there's Calendar, which can help you stay organized. Uh, so I use that a lot. Um, there's voice memos, so you can record things. Hello, this is a test. Hello, this is a test. And, uh, the speakers are actually very good, so the sound is pretty good. Um, settings, I can just customize a lot of different things. I can, you know, customize my wallpaper that you saw for my home screen and my lock screen. I can customize my iPod, volume limit, lyrics and podcasts. I can customize my phone, uh, TTY, what my number is. You probably shouldn't have seen that. Uh, there's Safari. I can choose my search engine. Uh, just go like that. So it's really, really a pretty cool thing of uh, editing your phone to, you know, the cus the way you want to customize it. Um, there's also phone and email and Safari and iPod and those just, you know, kind of turn this iPhone into pretty much a pocket computer. The iPhone 3GS is actually a very impressive phone. It has really cool features like voice control. So if I hold down the home button, call 1-925-926-9279. And it got the number dead accurate. And then it starts calling that number. So that's actually a very cool feature of the 3GS. The voice control feature is only available on the 3GS and not on the 3G or the original iPhone. So that's something that they added in 2009 that really makes the phone a lot cooler and a lot uh, easier to use and, you know, just, yeah, a lot cooler in general. There's also a compass icon that I forget. Uh, people don't really use the compass anymore. Not that not that I'm aware of, but it seems pretty pretty chill. The iPhone 3GS is really easy to, easy to use. It's twice as quick as the 3G on general and about four times as quick as the original iPhone. It's actually a very quick phone. Uh, the quality is not bad. Of course, the iPhone 4G, which comes out in two days, is going to have just profound quality with a retina display. Fortunately, the unfortunately, the 3GS does not have that kind of quality, um, but it is, still, it is still a pretty great phone. It's really functional. Uh, you can adjust the brightness. Um, right now, so, you know, it can actually, you can actually make it so that it's really bright, uh, which is cool. Um, yeah, the iPod on the iPhone 3GS is really organized, you know, I have all my songs. With the OS 4 update, I can create my own playlist right on the phone, I have all my playlists here, all my artists, um, right now I don't have any movies, Playlist or more, so genres, composers, compilations, everything like that. 3GS is a really great phone. Uh, it can fit in your pocket. It's 0.48 inches wide. So um, the actually the 3GS and the 3G are actually slightly thicker than the original iPhone, and it doesn't seem like that because the original iPhone is boxier. But this is actually very slightly thicker than the original iPhone. Um, the volume control is really easy. Here's the ringer switch. Really easy to use. Uh, it's really just a great phone in general. You know, it's just very intuitive, very creative. It's one of the most popular phones in the world. Um, it's beautiful, too. It's just really elegant design. It just gives you everything you, you want. You know, there's a video camera. You can, uh, you know, take a look at email. And, you know, there's a unified mailbox in the OS 4. I can go to this one and... Take a look at all my emails there. Take a look at this one. Put it in a certain box. Reply to it. Forward it. Refresh it. Throw it away. Everything I can do all of that. I can write a new email. So it's it's just it's a really great device actually. It's it re, it's really helpful. It's um really adapts to the way you want to use it. The YouTube videos uh, in Wi-Fi, the YouTube videos are pretty high quality in 3G and Edge. So when you're using a cell phone network, YouTube videos are very low quality, and that's kind of pathetic, and I hope that is improved in the iPhone 4.
basically the iPhone 3GS is a great phone. It's really creative, it has a lot of new features, and it's really user-friendly. So if you don't have an iPhone already and you don't want to buy the iPhone 4, then get the 3GS and it'll it'll be available as 8 gigs from now on. Thanks for watching. From Emails03, please subscribe.